California on the National Trails Road. Heading to the last Madonna of the Trail. Here it is, the Madonna of the Trail at Foothill Boulevard, which is the old Route 66 and Euclid Avenue is the last Madonna of the trail. Right. I think it's safe to get out now. And the dawn of the trail. The last one, Upland, California. The Madonna of the trail. Memorial of Pioneer Mothers. And this one faces south, like the artists wanted. The Daughters of the American Revolution wants them facing uh, west, that way. Over this trail, November 1926, Jedediah Smith, seeking a river following westward, led a band of 16 trappers, the first Americans to enter California overland. National Trails Road, dedicated to the bicentennial of the Constitution of the United States of America, California State Society. National Society of Dogs American Revolution, November 6, 1987. This trail trod by the Padres in Spanish days became under Mexican rule. The road connecting San Bernardino and Los Angeles, later the American Post Road. So there you go. God is the American Revolution. There's Maryland, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. There we go. All 12 of them. California.
them. So there we go. Back from Del Mar. Got a little once over happening. New Continental tires. Hey, and there's Melissa. Ooh, and Aaron. Start over there at his new chassis. And then start there at his new chassis. Old chassis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some behind the scenes. Ready? Hey, this is Aaron, Orange County Hot Rods. We're here with Jeff Bistitz, old chassis. We just did a complete spec chassis by Roadster Shop conversion. And so uh, here's his old stuff right here. The original frame's got CPPA arms, box, CPP tank. It's got all kinds of goodies on it, but it's old. It, it didn't want to handle any better. So we did the uh, Roadster Shop spec chassis. Complete conversion, a uh, little bit over two months, but I'll talk about what that two months was. So we did a lot of extras in between time. So, yeah, this is the old stuff. Let's go check out the finished work. And uh, we test drove it this last weekend to good guys, about 80 mile drive each way, and uh, everything worked benching. So let's go take a look at the new car. Okay, so here's Jeff's new car. And basically, whole new chassis, nine inch Ford, and everything that comes with the uh, Roadster Shop spec chassis is just awesome. Uh, it's spectacular, so we did a lot. Rewire the car, painted the firewall, because we had to cover up Jeff's chips. You know, he, he wanted to leave him alone, but we didn't allow that. So, new hoses, air conditioning hoses um, found a pinhole leak in the radiator so we had to put a whole radiator in um, so we did a gas door conversion right here too it's really cool let me go flip the switch here oh yeah my rocky hinge it's just an awesome kit, all USA made, uh, billet, aluminum, looks like, just works bitching. So as you can see, the, this car had a paint job on it, and very little paint that we had to mess up right here because we have to weld the bracket have to weld the bracket to this thing so we're just leaving it just to show people you know what it took and it really didn't mess up the paint we could i could easily shadow that in so but anyways we've got the mad mooks shocks on the lift gate it's just super awesome you know just this always closes first don't close this on your paint job but a lot of people know that there's a rubber bumper here in case you close it on the paint job here. But Jeff doesn't have one, so he, he said he doesn't he doesn't need it. So anyways, tailgate. Got all the new billet accessories here. The billet latches on the edges. Got all the new billet latches by Mad Moves. We got the Dan Chuck cables and retractors. Might as well do it all. And everything works really good. That closes first. It just closes like a dream. So it's really awesome. So we did a TMI interior also. What they had for the wagons. So which includes door panels, dash pad. We put a bench seat in it, carpet kit. And so we're working on the rear door panels, rear seat right now with TMI. We're going to start adding the wagon kit soon. So. Oh, and the Mad Mooks, door strikers, it's perfect. Non-polished, Unpolished. the only ones, super rare. So, closes like a dream. But all new wiring. Jeff has so much electronics on this because he drives this thing 20,000 miles a year. So, it's, it's a well-used wagon. So, um, it's got GPS, it's got everything on it. So, 
we put his original LS back in and uh, November we're gonna do a new LS supercharge but for now cleaned up the firewall cleaned up the hoses made new hoses new uh, Matson's radiator setup um, everything worked just awesome new headers for the uh, chassis spec chassis spec chassis is just powder coated it just really uh, super clean setup so but as you can see the stance of the car oh wait, 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 wait. holly headlights hey these we chose yellow just because it's Jeff's car he needed a purple steering wheel and yellow headlights so it's just awesome but these are really cool. Let me go turn the lights. So Holly, the brighter headlights. But Holly did their homework where you don't have to put all these modules in. These are literally just take out the old headlights, plug in the new headlights, and uh, you got the brighter headlights no extra modules you gotta you know like these halo 800 dollar headlights and stuff like that uh the halos are cool and everything but it's so much extra wiring that um it costs a lot of money so holly they did their homework they make the white ones or they have yellow i'm sure they'll have red someday but who knows but basically that's uh that's about it you can see the stance of the car <clears throat> it sits on the it sits lower than his other chassis so we literally can play with this ride height inch and a half two inches just by adjusting the coils so it's really cool roadster shop huh started oh started up started up oh we had black widow exhaust i mean they supplied the like three inch exhaust with a uh x pipe cross Next pipe in it, yep. And uh, mufflers sound really good, super healthy. So, yeah, let's go for a startup. Let's reach inside. Ten Nationals in May. Oh, Come on down. There you go. See you in Texas. There you go. All right, that's it. See ya. Well, yeah. We, Thanks, we man. You can put it together. Awesome. Yeah, we're in it. Whatever. There you go. Orange County Hot Rods. Whew. Got the Roaster Shop chassis in. Got the Gear Star Pro 4L80 gear vendors, overdrive, QA1 carbon fiber drive shaft, uh, new Matson's cooling module, and the TMI interior. We're heading over to TMI right now for a photo shoot. Um, and then heading back to Colorado. I got new Continental tires. Extreme Contact DWS 06, Willwood Brakes. We're a rolling machine, baby, and the Blackwood exhaust. So I'm super stoked. Thank you, Orange County Hot Rods. Hit them up, OCHotRods.com. And we're going to fire this bad boy up and uh, see what's... Uh and 53 we'll get some fuel all right over to tmi <laughs> Hey 
Hey you guys, like I said, we're at the TMI factory, the headquarters here in Corona, California. That is the, oh, the 360 booth. I like to call it the white tent of tranquility, but they call it the 360 booth. They've got this deal going on where you can bring your car in and get professional pictures done. And that's what they're gonna do with this thing here today. Check out the new TMI interior and all that kind of stuff. So come along for the ride. Let's check it out. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing this, uh, the, the 360 booth in action. How about you? Kind of cool inside the white tent of tranquility or the 360 booth, whatever you want to call it. They got the light set up on it. They can rotate it 360 degrees. It's kind of cool. It's got a little shine on it. Love this stance. going on in here? We are going to be taking pictures in the back of your wagon. I'm going to need to spin this thing. Let's do it. How cool is that? If you want to book this place yourself, head on over to tmiproducts.com and they'll tell you all about it. But uh, pretty cool stuff, man. The lights are amazing. Frankie's getting the gold. Yep. TMI booth if you're in SoCal.
Got the man, Ross, TMI Interiors. Dude, thanks so much for everything. Thank you so much. You're going to help backing me out of this thing, right? Absolutely, 100%. Check them out at tmiproducts.com for the uh, 360 degree photo booth. There we go. Did you get this shot? That's it. All right, I'm starting to get the Steve Austin. So nuts. Ross in the 360 photo booth. TMI, baby. All right, we're heading out of here, getting on the road, heading to Colorado. Adios. Heading out of TMI. Oops. See, my friend. Hello. Now we gotta go get some fuel.